what's going on YouTube? Today I'm gonna show you how to get like 500 to 600 FPS in Fortnite. I'm playing on RDX uh, 3060 Ti and Ryzen 5 5700X and getting around like 500 or 600 FPS. I don't know if this video helps a lot to you, but I'm just showing like the basic settings to get these high FPS and everything. Uh, for the window modes, I personally use Windows full screen because I'm playing stretch resolution and yeah, you can't play uh, on full screen because it's native resolution there. Uh, for resolution, yeah, it's um, based on the Windows full screen because I um, set it in NVIDIA control panel and yeah. Uh, Vsync I leave on off because Vsync is like, <coughs> how it says, it's like, um, yeah, if your monitor has 240 hertz your game is like based on 240 hertz i can't really explain it but it's like it syncs to the monitor frame limit i would personally uh, set on unlimited but if you get like not stable fps in fortnite you can leave it on 240 or just your monitor on the graphics settings i just use my preferred settings i don't know if you want to use it but yeah i like it uh, for the 3d resolution you can leave it on 100%, but also can go down like to 90%. I think it's playable. It's still playable on 90%. But yeah, it looks a bit of blurry, but you get more FPS if you play on a portable PC and get like only like 100 FPS. Yeah, I would leave it on 100% because I got no problems with that. For the units and setting, I would leave it on far because in the round you can see the we weapon more detailed if it's like very far away. And if you put it on like near, I think you can see it a bit more blurry from a far distance until it's on yeah 25, 26 meters away. Yeah, I would leave that on far. Meshes I use on low and meshes I use on low too because I want to play mobile builds. It's uh, not that detailed like Direct X12 or high meshes, but. Yeah, I think mobile builds are more, uh, it's better to see mobile builds. Report performance stats I would leave on disabled because I think for the sending performance stats every time if you like enable that setting and it can cost your FPS. For the secret setting, just hit your settings, go into the DirectX 11 uh, rendering mode and click on restart now. So guys, you're now in the DirectX 11 section. Go to settings again and you will see a lot of more settings in Fortnite. The motion blur just turn off. It's not very necessary and yeah, it's very blurry then. Once you're leasing mode, you can leave it on off. You can leave it on um, NVIDIA DLSS. If you got an NVIDIA graphics card, it can maybe help you, but I don't know how it works. So I leave it on off. Shadows I got off. This thing turned off too. Reflections turn off to then textures, effects, and post processing just turn it on low. Use GPU crash debugging, just leave it on off. Latency markers, you can leave it on on, you can leave it on off, it's just dependent on you. And if you got an NVIDIA graphics card, just use the NVIDIA reflex low latency modes, just turn on on or on plus boost. It's highly recommended to set the setting on on or on plus boost because. The FPS boost in this setting is very very important. Yeah, just go back to the uh, performance mode to get the most FPS. It's the best mode for Fortnite. For the next settings, you have to open the Epic Games Launcher. Then go to Library, search up Fortnite, and clicking on the three dots under your game. Then Click on options and make sure you just uh, select these option and this option. It's called pre-download streamed asset. Basically, you can like do uh, verify your uh, files too, just to see if it helps. Just have to um, go to your profile picture, go to settings, and just search up for uh, Fortnite. Just click on the uh, arrow and then it shows like um, commando parameters or something like that just copy the thing from the description and paste it in like here for my NVIDIA driver I use 
566.03 it's the best um, driver for latency and I would definitely uh, recommend this driver just search up in Opera GX or your browser for uh, game ready driver 566.03 NVIDIA and just download it and yeah now I show you how to get stretch resolution at Fortnite just click right click on your monitor then click NVIDIA uh, control panel open it just go to the first setting under display and click on set custom uh, then just click on this little box here go to custom resolution and put on every stretch resolution you want to play I'm definitely playing on 720 times 1080 and just go on test and then it shows up here you have to click this uh, right little box here and then it shows up here in the custom setting and you can just set that mode on and then click on yeah, apply for the power plan i literally use exm free power plan v5 it's from exm and it's just saying like it decreases uh, performance and it decreases dsp latency but it may increase temperatures on poorly cooled pcs so if you get like you have like two fans in your pc just use the um the ultimate performance power plan for the next tip i'm gonna show you how to like optimize your whole pc i would recommend to watch the videos from exm i linked him in the description he is the best tweaker i have ever known and he has a own tweaking utility i'm gonna leave the discord also in the description um yeah if you get like in his uh discord just go on and look for uh free tweaks free tweaking utility download this thing and just watch this youtube tutorial for me this tip helped a lot of uh, helping fps i think i got like an 80 fps increase uh, with the utility from ex also i would recommend to delete the temporary files and the prefetch files of your pc for that you're gonna hit windows plus r and type in temp without the percent just delete everything in here and then windows plus r again then percent temp percent delete everything here too yeah if you see i have like eight gigabytes in this in this thing hit windows plus r again and search for prefetch I got no prefetch files because I'm not using prefetch. I turned it off. If you want to look how that how that works, just go uh, on YouTube and search disable prefetch. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry if this video didn't really help you. It was just the basics. If you would like a video that looks even deeper into the optimizations, please let me know. Otherwise, please subscribe and like, and we'll see you in the next video.